Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the four key principles to stay in your it girl energy. And I feel like there's so much talk online about what an it girl is, who are the it girls. And while it's totally cool to get inspiration from other people, at the end of the day, it's so important to remember that you can really be the it girl of your reality. And it all starts with the energy that you give off and just your overall vibe. So that's kind of what this video is gonna be about. And I also want to make a disclaimer, I've literally been sick for like the past like week and a half. So if my voice sounds a little nasally, that's why. But without further ado, let's get into the video. For the first principle, you want to remember that happiness is totally your responsibility. So I think no matter what happens to us in life, like your happiness is on you because too many times, and I've been there as well, where like you rely on other people or outside factors to make you feel happy, but like if they're not showing up in the way that you want, then you end up just feeling disappointed and just depleted from your energy. So once you start to realize that happiness literally is a choice, like you have to wake up every day, even when days are hard, to choose joy and to do things that make you happy and find what makes you feel fulfilled. And this really has to do with also just getting to know yourself and discovering new things. Then you can really have that joy within yourself and nobody can take that away from you. It doesn't matter what kind of circumstances are happening around you. Now for principle number two, this one's such a good one and it's other people's opinions are none of my business. And it's so true because at the end of the day, who knows you better than yourself? So why would another person's words mean anything? And honestly, the less that you hear about what other people have to say, and I know this one is also pretty difficult considering even for me, like I'm pretty nosy. Like if someone's talking about me, I used to be like, oh my God, like what are they saying? But like at the end of the day, who freaking cares? Like if someone has something bad to say about you, that honestly says way more about that person than it even does about you. So why would you even listen? And honestly, you hold the power of determining your own worth. So shut out all that noise let people talk and just keep shining regardless now for principle number three don't spend your life chasing after other people i know this one's going to be tough for all you people pleasers out there but it's so true and it doesn't matter if it's like you're chasing after people to be your friends or romantically or literally anything like the people that are meant to be there are going to be there and it shouldn't take you going out of your way convincing them for them to stay because also on top of that like you just don't want to be radiating desperate energy like that is honestly never the freaking vibe so the less that you care about holding on so tight for people to stay the more attractive you become like it's totally counterintuitive but like whatever validation you're seeking from other people just start giving it to yourself and then like all the right people will start coming your way and another important thing to remember is some people are just meant to be in our lives for certain seasons like I feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves to have people in our life forever whether that be a friend whether we meet someone romantically and you like think you're gonna end up with them like putting that pressure is just not healthy because honestly some people just are there to serve their purpose and even when things don't work out like you learn lessons from every relationship that you have and it's good to just accept that and like the more that you can just let people go and set them free then there's honestly a possibility that they could either come back and you guys can rekindle or it's leaving room for you to meet potentially someone new like even for me like within the past six months i met so many new people and if i had not let previous people that have been in my life go like i would never would have met them and these people i've met have changed my perspective in so many ways i've learned new things and i've like just meeting new people has brought me so much joy so like i'm just really grateful for that and even now it's like if those people don't stay in my life forever that's okay because i know that there's more people coming last but not least for principle number four whatever's meant to be in my life will add value um if you're an it girl like you do not settle for less so like if something's not bringing you peace happiness inspiration or knowledge it's gotta go and not to say that in life you're not gonna have obstacles or difficult things that you need to get through to get on the other side but if something is leaving you unfulfilled and just honestly stressed and anxious you have to walk away because sometimes like you feel comfortable in the chaos because it's just what you're used to like even when it comes to relationships like sometimes you're in a relationship and you know it's just not the best for you but you're just so comfortable in it that you're afraid to leave but you just gotta do it, rip the band-aid off. It might be difficult at first, but honestly, in the long run, it's so worth it because you'll eventually be on the right path and you'll be able to actually flourish. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And honestly, these principles are easier said than done, but once you're able to implement these, you'll be on the way to continue being the girl of your dreams.